Hello and welcome to an episode of Living United in Ottertail County and now Ottertail in Wadena County. We're going to talk a little bit about more about that in just a moment. I have a great guest with me today, Sue Wilkin from A Place to Belong and Sue's going to talk a little bit about her organization, um, how United Way funding is used at your organization and why that's a, an important organization to the community. Um, but first I want to talk a little bit about our name change. Um, as of March 1st, 2017, United Way of Ottertail County has changed to serve not only Ottertail, but Ottertail and Wadena County. So now our name is officially United Way of Ottertail and Wadena County. So we have wow. bigger goals, bigger service area, more programs to support, more volunteers, and all the great things that oh, come wow. along with that. Yeah. So um, how that's going to work is, uh, we, um, we didn't do a merger. Um, the local United Way in Wadena County decided to um, disband and then we're taking over their service area and we're working with those community volunteers in the Wadena area and we'll be starting off of our first campaign in the fall of 2017 and uh, starting with a, a smaller goal. Um, our campaign goal for United Way of Ottertail County will be 335,000 where the Wadena area will be 35,000. Oh, so that's a nice start. It's a nice start. A nice start. And we're going to uh, launch our campaign with a mobile food drop over in Wadena. I just heard that today, yeah. that the mobile food drop was going to be in Wadena. Yes, so, that's so we're exciting. excited about that. The, de the Place to Belong um, in Detroit Lakes is planning on coming and Fantastic. volunteering Fantastic. for that event. Yeah, so we're excited about the changes ahead. Um, we aren't uh, bringing on more staff at this time to uh, add those changes, adding a few more staff hours and for some of our part-time folks. And then um, hopefully we'll grow, create more awareness, and most importantly, help more people and help uh, improve lives even more So, um, in a larger area. So we're excited about this opportunity. That does sound really exciting. Yeah. And then um, our, with other campa campaign updates, our goal again here for Ottertail County in the fall will be 335000 This last year, that was our goal, and we're almost to 400000 Wow. And so we want to say a big thank you to all the residents of Ottertail County, the businesses who gave, foundations, um, endowments, all of those organizations help us meet that goal, and we certainly can't do it without our volunteers that help with the campaign. So. A big thank you from United Way and our board of directors for helping us reach our goal and greatly surpass it. We're going to do great things with um, all those funds that we receive from our donors and businesses and, and foundations. So we're excited about that. Um, want to talk a little bit with you, Sue, about what's going on in your organization. I know it, you were telling me ahead of time about um, May is a big month for your organization. You have a lot of great things coming up and an yes. anniversary. Yes. So let's talk about that. Okay, well, as you know, Mary, Place to Belong is a social club for people with mental illness. Mm -hmm. um, so that people are aware, we don't do treatment or therapy of any kind. It is strictly a social club, a place where people can go to feel, have this place of sense of belonging, to develop friendships, to do some community service and that sort of thing, um, just to help them as they're working on their recovery on an individual basis, just you know, uh, support coming alongside them. You need other people around you. Yes. You need support. And yes. I know uh, with a lot of events that we have, um, your organization brings folks to volunteer. Absolutely. And it's such a great opportunity. It, that is, you know, um, one of the things that we do with the United Way is the backpack food program where we take the food into the schools and put it in their backpacks so that kids go home. Mm -hmm. Uh, with food on, on the weekends and that is something that my members really really resonate with they really appreciate that because they know about hunger and they know mm -hmm. how important that is so um, we never have trouble Good. getting volunteers to especially the guys because those pack those those bags of food are pretty heavy mm -hmm. um, we never have problems getting volunteers to come and help mm -hmm. with that program because they know how important that is yeah that is an important program and kind of on a side note we do have hundred and fourteen children in Fergus Falls utilizing that program. Wow. We have a um, Head Start program all the way to senior high. Wow. So every week those bags yeah. go out and we're appreciative of all of our volunteers who not only bag the food, 
um, the volunteers who pick it up at the food shelf and bring it to our office and then bring it out to the kids at the school. It takes... It's oh, got to take a lot of people it's because it's people. very well organized. <laughs> yeah. Very well organized. I just drive, you know. <laughs> yeah, and then we have Lyle Hoxtell who goes back and organizes all the food in the back so it's easy to package up for other volunteers. So wow. we have a great system in yeah. place for that. It takes yeah, a lot of that's people. Cool. So tell me a little bit more about your anniversary and, and the month of May coming We're up. We're so excited. A Place to Belong has their 20th anniversary in Fergus Falls uh, in May of uh, this year. We started, we were co incorporated in May of 1997. And so we are really, really excited um, to be celebrating. And we're hoping that the community will celebrate with mm -hmm. us because this is a major, major milestone for us. The very, very first attempt at having a social club for people with mental illness uh, was called New Horizons. And it fizzled because of lack of financing. Okay. Not for lack of need and not for lack of of people who were willing to work and all of that, but there just wasn't enough money to keep it going. If you've been around Fergus Falls for more than 20 years, you might remember a New Horizons Club that was in the old library building. Okay. But as I say, there just wasn't the funding. So um, a l group of people who were really, really committed to making a social club for people with mental illness um, wrote to the legislature, mm -hmm. got a grant, um, did all, all that work involved in getting it started and we've been going serving people with serious mental illness in Ottertail and Becker County for 20 years That's and we're amazing. really exciting, mm -hmm. excited about it. Yeah, it's um, when a new nonprofit starts up, sometimes it's really hard to, for sustainability yeah. and finding that money. So it's great that you've been able to keep yeah. that going. So I have a tentative date for our open house. We want the community to come and see what we do, who we are, get a tour of our facility. We actually own our building with uh, community support and I believe it was 2005, we were able to raise the funds to purchase our building. Great. And so um, we are really excited to open it up to the community and invite people in to see what we're doing, to see the great facility that we have and to get acquainted with the work mm -hmm. that we do. It is a wonderful facility. I know you've given me a few tours through the years and it changes. It on does. Change. And you've got a new office it sounds I like. I do. So. We uh, took out a wall, put in a door and, mm -hmm. and gave me a, my own space which is really <laughs> a treat. Um, after sharing it with three other people and storage, it was really nice to have my own mm -hmm. space. So that's exciting and that will be showcased at our at our open house. Fantastic. Yeah. And May is coming up and you said that's Mental Health Awareness Month. May is Mental Health Awareness Month and it's so important. Um, I think about my history that I really knew nothing. Before I started working at A Place to Belong, I knew really very, very little about mental health and the fact that mental health is for everyone. Mm -hmm. You know, if you have a brain, you have a mental health mm -hmm. and, and you need that. So Mental Health Awareness Month in May, we will be having a, a little, dem not a, it'll be a peaceful demonstration with signs <laughs> um, at the intersection of Lincoln and Union um, one day in May. And our brothers and sisters from the social clubs in Moorhead and Breckenridge will be coming to join us in our bright green shirts to, to uh, put up signs and tell people that mental health is for everyone. Mm -hmm. And then over the month of May, we will be going to the various communities, um, Detroit Lakes, Moorhead, and Breckenridge, uh, and help them mm -hmm. with their promotion of uh, Mental Health Awareness Month in May. Mm -hmm. Mental illness can impact so many people that you love and know. Um, you've told me some statistics in the past about how many people that affects. Can you remind me of what those yes, are? Yes, yes. As a matter of fact, um, one in four people will have a mental illness, statistically, you mm -hmm. know. One in four people will have mental illness in their lifetime. And I saw this past year when I was doing some research, I saw a statistic that said one in four people will have a mental illness annually. Mm -hmm. So that's 25% mm -hmm. of the population. So that means that, you know, there are three of us in this, r in this building right now. Um, there's a good chance that one of us will have an episode of mental illness. But you know, Mary, here's the interesting part. We, we don't think of mental illness as a disease of the body, but in fact, it really is. It is. It is a disease of the body. And then of those people, those, that 25% who have a mental illness, only one in three will receive treatment, mm -hmm. and which is very sad. And that, that is my history. My family member who had a mental illness, we were afraid. We were afraid that somebody would learn 
that we had a mental illness, mm -hmm. and so we did nothing. Um, you know, recently at our last board meeting, that came up as a topic about um, how do we sit down at the dinner table and talk with our kids and talk with our family about um, that mental illness is not something we should stigmatize and it shouldn't be scary and it shouldn't be uh, something we keep behind closed doors, right. that we let people know that this is a disease and this is it an is. illness and this is something uh, we shouldn't be embarrassed about. And what you just said about sitting around the table with our kids, and that is really where the education comes, mm -hmm. is when you're having conversations with your family to teach your children early on that we need to take care of our mm -hmm. brain as well as our, the rest of our mm -hmm. body. And so mental illness, mental wellness, mm -hmm. should be a part of our whole wellness mm -hmm. package. Mm -hmm because it can happen to anyone. Yep. And like you say, people who may be struggling don't want to tell anybody. It's a secret. Because you keep it something you should be ashamed of or embarrassed about or I can fix this myself and yeah. then yeah. it turns into something bigger. It, so. it does. Yeah. It does. Going, untre going untreated, that's the real, that's the real tragedy. Mm -hmm is just as untreated cancer can be life-threatening and often is, untreated mental illness can be very life-threatening as well. Mm -hmm. And it often is. I had a dis conversation with a woman just yesterday who lost her husband to uh, suicide uh, last November. And how tragic, mm -hmm. how tragic. We don't take it seriously enough. Mm -hmm. Interestingly enough, um, one in four will have a mental illness. One in 17 will have an illness that is so severe that it interferes with their ability to maintain their employment, to maintain their relationships with their family, families crumble. Um, those are the people that we step in and serve, are the people whose mental illness has become very severe. Hmm. Interestingly enough, even that is treatable. Yes. And for some people, they can recover. For other people, so long as they take their medication, they can function very, very well in society. Well, good. Well, it's good to have your program in the community to help and to engage and to keep citizens productive in our community. Now, did we talk about your quilt? We haven't talked okay. about the quilt. Um, the uh, Heart in the Country quilters are having their quilt show this weekend, I believe. Okay. And they have made this quilt, and I think that we have a scan of that, so you'll get to see it a little better. But these, this quilt is being raffled off for a dollar a ticket by the Heart in the Country Quilters. It's a queen size quilt measuring 90 by 90 inches. Gorgeous, gorgeous piecework on there. And all the proceeds will be going to a place to belong. Okay. So if you have an opportunity, if you know anybody who's quilting or if you see these really great uh, light orange uh, raffle tickets, a buck, nobody misses a buck. And you have a good chance of winning this gorgeous, Great. gorgeous quilt, knowing beautiful. that you will be doing something mm -hmm. to uh, help a place to belong, which is a very important service that we have for all of Otter Tail mm -hmm. County. So this raises money for um, providing support to your members, and United Way also provides funding. And how is that funding used at your organization, Sue? We, thank you for asking that. We have state funding that covers our wages and the operation of our building. Mm -hmm. So all of a place to belong, or all of the United Way's funds okay. goes towards programming and food. Excellent. We provide, uh, we don't cook meals for our people, but we provide fresh fruit and vegetables on a daily basis, trying to maintain that whole healthy mm -hmm. living, healthy lifestyle thing. So uh, we maintain uh, lettuce and radishes and bananas and apples and and all kinds of fun things, uh, craisins and sunflower seeds, all kinds of fun things Great. to go on their salads to make it a little bit more, I mean, face it, Tasty. a salad can be boring <laughs> if you don't have fun stuff to right. put on it. So Julie, our activity director, keeps fresh vegetables in our fridge all the time. Fantastic. And that's one of the major things that- Eating um, right, what you put in is what yes, you get out. <laughs> absolutely. So. It also is used towards the programming activities that uh, we do throughout the year. Great. One of, can I tell you a little bit about our camping program? Yes, absolutely. One of our activities that has been really well, very well received by our members and also helps them to grow in a variety of ways is our camping program, which is starting again in May. May is big Great. for us. Yeah. May 24th is our first camping trip of the year. We have enough camping supplies to um, take about a dozen people. Great. We provide tents, sleeping bags, food, 
uh, camp, you know, cook stove, all the equipment to do the cooking. And um, members learn, they learn to work together as a team. Mm -hmm. They learn to overcome difficulties. Mm -hmm. They learn um, to enjoy the nature and get de-screened, get away from the TV, get away from the computer. And if I had my way, get away from the cell phones and just enjoy nature. Um, for a lot of us, it, it helps us with our mental health, helps us to Absolutely. be calm. But also it just, you know, is a great way for bonding, developing friendships. And um, as I said, it's a really, really popular program mm -hmm. that we have. Well, a lot of people don't have the opportunity to get camping or get back into the woods or even get out and get fresh air anymore. Yep, and right. So that's very true. It's a great activity. And I know every month when your calendar comes to our office and I look at that, I'm like, you are so, you have so many activities going on at your organization. We try. We yeah. try and keep people busy. So if I am someone who would like to learn more about your organization, mm -hmm. how do I find out more information? You can call us at 739-0797. We are also on the web. Our web page is a place, the number two, belong Minnesota, MN. So A P A P L A C E number two, B E L O N G M N. It's not easy, but anyway, dot com. Or Google a place to belong. Or Google a place <laughs> to belong. But if you Google a place to belong, you want to make sure you find the official website okay. because there's some bogus websites out there that say that we are treatment. They say that we're a nightclub. Oh, geez. Um, yeah, there's some really bad bogus uh, websites. So you probably don't want a place you to belong. You just want to make falls. sure you find the uh, official website yes. uh, and get the correct information. But it's there. Also, we're at 109 North Court Street here in Fergus Falls. And you can just walk in. And if you're interested in information or if you want a tour or if you just have questions, we're happy to help you. Or if you, you want to give funding. Or if you, yeah, that'd be good too. <laughs> that'd be good too. Some and people are very passionate, you know, about um, organizations such as yours um, because they've been affected like any other charity. Mm -hmm. So um, it, it might be a good opportunity for it to reach out and, yeah. and, and get some funding. Well, good. Well, thank you so much for information on your program. Is there anything else that you want people to know about? Um, let's see. We've talked about the backpack feeding program. We talked about mental health awareness, the anniversary, the open house, which I believe is going to be May 17th. Okay. Um, camping. We, uh, a couple of the things, Mary, that I was going to uh, let you know, let you folks know, that we have the community paramedics coming in once a month. Okay. So that's another opportunity to help people become healthy. They do they do health education. They do blood pressure screenings and um, they do blood pressure, blood uh, sh glucose levels. Okay. And you know just a little mini care package when they sure. come for anybody who's check, who's wanting yeah. a little health check. And uh, so they're coming once a month to a place to belong. Great. And they, we have a great relationship with them, but they also do some education. Um, we have ongoing crafts, ongoing crafts, games, lots of fun things. Mm -hmm. And it's, really it's a, a great social place. club. <laughs> it's a social club. We do a lot of laughing there. Yes, good. Yes. Good to hear. Well, thank you, Sue. I appreciate all that information. And again, if you need to reach out to Sue and find out information, what's that phone number again? 218-739-0797. All right. Well, great. And just to follow up, um, to, if you want to find out you know, information about her organization or if you need to find any other organization, let's say it's uh, health care or housing or food or family services, you can just call 211 from your landline or your cell phone. And if that doesn't work, uh, call 1-800-543-7709. Uh, when you call the operator, they will ask for your zip code and you can just tell them what your need is or what you're looking for. And if it's located within Ottertail County or in the area, they'll be able to let you know if those services are available. So let's say you're looking for the local food shelf or um, you need help with rental assistance or maybe heating assistance or uh, let's say you're looking for child care and you don't know where to start. Call 211 and they'll be able to connect you with where you should start. It's a free call, it's 24 hours a day, confidential, seven days a week, so give them a call if you need. Um, and then also, like I said, we can't do anything without volunteers uh, at the United Way office. So we have a great service, it's free to nonprofits and it's free to volunteers. It's called Get Connected and you just visit our website and click on volunteer and you can um, 
register as a volunteer and connect with all sorts of nonprofits who are looking for volunteers, including the United Way, including a place to belong. And um, as a nonprofit, you can go on and register your organization and then what your volunteer needs. Are. You can also uh, put on there what kind of employment opportunities you might have available, material needs for your organization, any events that you have coming up. And if it's a match with what volunteers are looking for and what you have available, it will send them an email and let them know they should get in and they should get connected with you. So um, check out that service, visit our website, um, United Way of Ottertail and Wadena Counties, and uh, you can get connected that way. So Sounds like a good opportunity. It is a great opportunity. So volunteers um, are important to our communities. They provide a lot of services and a lot of, a lot of love for people in our community. So uh, we're grateful to all of our volunteers. But that wraps up our show today, and so I want to thank you, Sue, for joining us today, well, and thank, thank you, you for living united in Ottertail and Wadena counties.